and welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on here, y'all? What's going on? So it has been a while. Y'all just been going through so much. But I'm like doing great. I'm doing great. It's just a lot of stuff that sometimes you have to face alone. And there's like sometimes in certain situations in your life, nine of pentacles that you know that you've been putting consistent effort into and you're very grateful for everything that's been coming your way. But there's like something that you have been showing very much a lot of strength about. You've been showing so much strength with this. Um, and, and it's like you've been taking a risk with this. And you're now realizing that it's up to you to go ahead and maintain and create whatever type of reality you want. Um, you are going to be getting a lot of recognition from this because it's going to be a lot of work. It's very hard to get away and move away from situations that no longer serve you, right? Because there's always temptation, which is of the devil, right? But it's not like it's going to be easy. It's not easy. There's a lot of us spiritual people. There's a lot of us, a lot of us healers, a lot of us readers that have really been getting tested right now. And that's not for nothing, right? It's not for nothing. It's because you're definitely a born leader and you're very influential. And it's like there's been a lot of tests that you've, that you've been having to go ahead and take, period. You may have been doing a lot of suffering, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of overthinking. And then we have the five of wands. So it's like a lot of petty shit was coming your way. And if it's not just petty shit, it's just realizing your worth, right? It's realizing your worth. It's realizing that you're too big to be put in a box. It's realizing that anybody that's not going to give you what you're due is not worth your time. It's not worth your time. And it's like a lot of times you're the person that always tries to look out for other people. But whenever the end of the day, the beginning of the day, any damn time of the day, whenever it's time for that for that reciprocation, it doesn't come along. We have the four of wands in reverse as well as the queen of, queen of cups in reverse. And this is for the collective, y'all. I ain't even ground. Let me go ahead and ground, y'all. For the motherfucking collective. All right, all right, all right. And let me say... Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Let me do this right. Yeah, but it's like a lot of cloud of judgment, right? It was a lot of shit that was not being able to be seen clearly. But I definitely feel like since the new year has, has you know, begun, began, whatever, um, a, a lot of those products, problems, okay, I'm products too, okay? A lot of those things that you're trying to develop, a lot of that modest behavior, a lot of that giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and not getting that equal reciprocation, it's been so much so that you have not been able to see shit clearly for what the fuck it really is and your intuition has been blocked in certain situations and these tests and trials and tribulations that you've been put through out of, out of nowhere, it's just like you've gained the discipline to see the shit for how the fuck it truly is. You're very wise. You're very patient. You're very loyal. You're very much so that person that somebody can always depend on and count on, right? Somebody is going to know that you're going to have their back if you ask of them. And you're not going to respect shit from... You're not going to... Okay, there's a lot of respect that you're gaining, but you're not going to get... You're not going to expect anything back, right? You're just giving this out of the kindness of your heart, out of you knowing that you need to give true, unconditional love, out of you knowing that God's grace has saved so much... That you just putting that effort towards different situations to be able to help when you can is helping you to help others, right? And there's been a lot of spiritual signs, a lot of um, a lot of things that you've been seeing, right? A lot of things, and you're determined. You're very determined. You're very much so in your power at this time. You're realizing that sometimes it is, it is, you know, you have to be the one that go ahead and put your Defense mechanism up, right? We have the nine of wands. You have to definitely protect what's yours. You have to definitely show through all the bullshit that you may have been going through, through, through all of the behaviors that were not of you, that were put upon you, that didn't really have shit to do with you, through all of that shit and all the, like, just the chaos and the conflict and, you know, people just passing left and right. 
passing left and right, finding your purpose, all of that. You've been showing very much so resilience with this. And through this strength, through this strength, it's leading you to a lot. It's leading you to reconcile chariot. It's leading you to gain mental stability. It's leading you to gain that emotional balance. It's leading you to change a new direction. And you're just going to be changing the direction towards success. Your direction is success. I just want to be successful. So you're leaning towards your success. You're leaning towards your abundance. You're leaning towards your prosperity. You're leaning towards knowing that you know that you know that you know that you know that you're the motherfucking empress. You're the motherfucking emperor, whoever the fuck. Right? Take it how it resonates. And you're realizing that three pinnacles in reverse. There's a lot of people that can't do this shit like you. It's, it's a lot of people that may, like, you tried to work with or some shit this didn't work out right. But you can do this shit by yourself, right? It's not no shortage of skills with you. Um, You are the one that, you know, like, sometimes, a, a lot of times, it's like, if you want some shit done right, you got to do that shit yourself. So you got to pick this shit up and realize that it's all about you. It's all about with the effort that you're going to put into it. And it's all about learning and growing, y'all. It's all about learning and growing because if you ain't doing, if you ain't learning and growing, what the fuck are you doing? And whenever you realize that it's a lot of shit that are, is tests and you've been putting through tests because you are chosen, because there are, it's going to be a lot of turmoil in your life because you're coming so much, I mean, you're, you're coming so close to your abundance and your gratefulness that it's going to be like, okay, they doing this. He or she is working so hard towards their abundance, towards their gratefulness. Let me put this test out. Let me see if they pass this test. Let me see if they're going to do this. Let me see if they're going to work towards this. Let me see if they're going to continue to go ahead and do what the fuck they got to do and maintain even through the triumphs, even through all of the bad times, even through all of the good times, even continue to show gratefulness, gratefulness regardless of what the fuck is going on in your life. Continue to show gratefulness as you can and continue to just continue to be consistent, right? What is this? You got the love. Codependency boundaries. Yeah, so it, it could have been a lot of codependent situations in your past where you were depending on somebody, where you had trauma bonds, where it was so unhealthy. But you're realizing having your boundaries up, like I'm getting this labored breathing right now. So it was a lot of shit that was not communicated effectively. It's a lot of shit that was not tell, told how it should have been told. It's a, it was a lot of holding back here, right? I can feel that. There was a lot of holding back here. And with the holding back, it was in both ways. Holding back with somebody that may have not been giving you the equal reciprocation or you, loving you as much as you were loving them, right? Not showing you that unconditional love. You were showing them that unconditional love, but they weren't giving you that equal reciprocation on one hand. And then the other hand, it's like you realizing yourself that these codependencies and these, I'm going to have to have my boundaries up regardless because nobody's going to do anything that you're not going to allow them to do, right? That could be very harsh, but you have to allow that shit. This person, these people, whoever it is doing you wrong, they know that they know that they know that they know that they know that, they're, that you're going to continue to forgive them, right? You're going to continue to be that open mind, unconditional person that's giving them that unconditional love. And, like, there's nothing wrong with that. You continue. That's what we're here for, to show the unconditional love. But to have your boundaries up, to you, for you to be the person that has your boundaries up and you're the person that could create your own reality, that's going to be up to you. Then we have cracked down. So, yeah, it's, it's been a rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. It's been a lot of shedding. Whether that's people, whether it's places, whether that's things, there's been a lot of shedding. There's been a lot of opening up to what's new. There's been a lot of letting go of what's old. There's been a lot of welcoming abundance. There's been a lot of realizing what's really for you. There's been a lot of understanding that you don't have to put up with certain situations because of that lack mentality, because of that way of past thinking, because of that in your head where nobody has ever, or the situation, person, paper, take it how it resonates, person, place, thing, has not truly and honestly and wholeheartedly showed you. We're not looking for potential. We are wanting somebody to show us that. And once they show us that, as you lean into yourself, as you lean into being in your abundance, as you lean into being the creator that you are and go ahead and seeking and being consistent on those things that you need to do, that it's just like mind opening. It's shedding a lot and realizing that a lot is up to you to create, right? It's all up to you. It's all because of you. 
Ain't nobody feeling sad and blue, but there has been a lot of sad and blue feelings. There's been a lot of just not feeling like the same, not feeling yourself, not feeling like it, it's just been different, a different way of thinking. It's, it's been like off kilter. It's been like just uneasy. It's been like something different, just something different in the air. Success. Yes, I love to end it like that. Success is on the way because you're realizing what you're worth. You know what you're worth. You've been knowing what you're worth. But it's just like certain things you're going to accept and certain things you're not going to accept. And certain things that you know that are here for only seasons. There's only a time period that certain situations are even in your life to teach you these certain karmic lessons. To teach you these certain just lessons in life that you're learning and you're growing from. And you're creating your abundance and you're realizing that 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 you have learned a lot of lessons from this and with these lessons you're not going to do repeated mistakes and you're not going to lean too much in on the things that are negative but you're going to always lean in the, on the positive right you're going to lean in on positive and you may need to go ahead and call out our on archangel Azrael, right to heal from some grief to heal from to heal from things that you've been accepting to heal like from any loving that a loving counselor right um they also know as whom who who God helps, right? To heal with, deal with loss, to heal with situations in your life that you may have not thought that they were going to go this way, but they this that they have gone this way, and to, to deal with transitions because they're different trans. They're, you know, there's peaks and slopes, right? So there's different trans transition periods in our life and healings that we have to do that through these different time periods and through these di different time periods when we're doing this healing. And we're growing. It's so much stuff that we're learning that we have to take it all in and really learn how to apply that knowledge and really learn how to use that knowledge effectively, right? Because we can have all the knowledge in the world, but if we're not actually using it effectively, what the fuck that mean, right? All right, all right, all right. I appreciate y'all for sticking in here with me. Thank you so, so much. I do want to say thank you for everything. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your well wishes. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your comments, your likes, your subscribes. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs and for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.